Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Karen Tree and Plays Games, and welcome to a series I'd like to call Top 10 Tuesdays. Basically, every Tuesday, I'm going to be trying to do a top 10 uh, opinionated list video, or like top 5, top 20, you know, just a list video. Top 10 just sounds good, because alliteration is awesome. Anyways, today, for the first Tuesday of Top 10 Tuesday, we're going to be counting down my favorite Pokemon, purely opinionated, uh, just based off of design and ability that have been released uh, for Sun and Moon so far as of August 1st, 2016. So there might be a lot of Pokemon, maybe if you're watching this sometime in the future, that have come out and you might be wondering why they're not on my list. Keep in mind, this was as of August 1st. If you guys don't agree with my opinion, then definitely go down and comment below. Tell me what your top 10 favorites are. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Number 10. So my number 10 choice is Rowlet, the grass flying type owl looking Pokemon. So you might be wondering why I don't have this thing placed up higher on my list. Top 10 is kind of the worst out of the top 10. So it's, a lot of people hopped on the Rowlet bandwagon when it first came out. Honestly, I liked uh, one of the other starters a bit better. Rowlet is definitely a cool looking Pokemon, especially if his final evolution turns out to be true, but I'll touch on that again in a minute. Uh, Rowlet gets the new move Leafage, which looks pretty interesting. It's cool to finally have a grass flying type. That's something we have not definitely seen as a starter yet. I think it'd be a lot of fun to have that. Um, with his new move Leafage, it does look pretty interesting. Otherwise, he's just kind of a normal grass starter, and uh, he looks like he might have a lot of weaknesses. Quad weak to ice, um, thinking Electric should still be super effective against him. Uh, yeah, just, he's still gonna have a lot of weaknesses. However, he does have this cool ability that appears to shoot leaves, so I'm guessing he'll be able to learn things like, uh, Razor Leaf, most definitely, and probably maybe even some more new grass-type moves. Um, because if you look at his final form, this is a prediction of his final form, that, uh, if you watch some videos by, like, there's, uh, Verlissify and a couple other people, they actually might have proved their final evolutions correct. If you look at it, it kind of looks like his final evolution is drawing a bow, which is interesting because earlier Rowlet is seen shooting feathers out, like, grass feathers which is an interesting concept for a grass flying type. So I definitely think that this could be a true prediction, and while I'm basing this off of Rowlet, not his final form or final form to be, uh, he's still going to get number 10 on this list because uh, there are other starters. Number 9. So at number 9, I have put Litten, the Fire Cat Pokemon. Like putting Rowlet at number 10, I feel like putting Litten at number 9 is going to give me a bit of hate. A lot of people really took to Litten and Rowlet when the starters were revealed. They were kind of the two favorites, I think, uh, instead of Poplio. Um, Litten's an interesting fire cat Pokemon. I predict it's probably gonna end up a fire and dark type tiger. Uh, there was that predicted evolution for it. I'm not gonna show it here, but you can find videos about it. I, I don't know if that's what it's actually gonna look like, but yeah, I do predict it will kind of be a tiger Pokemon, and I am predicting it will be a dark type, because we have not had a fire dark type yet as a starter. So, if you don't know... Litten actually, if you read the description of it, it just sounds really cool. It can throw flaming fur balls. I mean, that's just insane. It doesn't get any cool new moves like Leafage uh, that like Rallet gets. It still just gets Ember. It comes with Ember though, which is interesting. All starters come with, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, Bubble, Ember, and then Leafage for Rowlet. So that's interesting that they start with it. But just that he can throw flaming hairballs sounds so awesome. And the design of Litten is pretty cool as well. It's kind of like a prowling cat, like he might singe you if you scare him or something like that. It's just an overall pretty good design and pretty solid for a starter type Pokemon. Number 8. At number 8, I have Poplio, who, in case you couldn't tell by the listing, is my favorite starter and has been since I saw the Sun and Moon trailers first. I've been Team Poplio the whole time. Um, now, he, he looks kind of like a silly Pokemon, but he, he kind of gives me the feel of the stereotypical, uh, cute, uh, funny Pokemon that you could really play with and love. He's very lovable, I think. You can see this picture here of him blowing up Rowlet in a bubble and, like, jumping up and down. He looks like kind of a, a funny prankster Pokemon, but he, his design's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. Probably my favorite design out of the other two, which might surprise some of you, but, uh, he could, I, I'm predicting his typing to be water and fairy, as many other people have. I've, I have a feeling that he might, like, draw power from his nose which would be a really interesting concept. He does start with Water Gun from the very beginning of the game, just like Litten starts with Ember and Rowlet starts with Leafage. Uh, I'm interested to see if he will be a fairy type. That would be really interesting because we've never had a fairy type starter before. Now, again, I'm not basing it off just the fact that he's fairy type because that's not confirmed yet, but just looking at the design of him, he does look like the coolest, and I do kind of have a thing for water types. Uh, they're probably my favorite typing in all of Pokemon. So, definitely Team Poplio since day one. Number seven. At number seven, I have put 
Gun Gumshoes, that's what its name is. So we actually already saw Young Goose, which was revealed earlier, but Gumshoes was just revealed August 1st. And as you can see, his former evolution kind of looks like Donald Trump. He's got the Donald Trump hair, and that's kind of been a big meme. I think I can see the resemblance, definitely. So if Donald Trump becomes president, you can bet tons of people are going to be naming their Gumshoes after Donald Trump. Anyways, this Pokemon, it's just, you know, it's your average normal type that you're probably going to get at the beginning of the game. It's like, it's your Zigzagoon, it's your Rattata of Alola. But this one looks even cooler than normal. Like Diggersby and Kalos, which was kind of your standard normal type that you get at the beginning of the game, Bunnelby. Diggersby was actually used in combat competitively. I think Gumshoes might be the same way. He's, he's still only normal type, but he gets the incredible ability of Stakeout, which means that if a Pokemon flees or, like, switches out, or I guess if a Pokemon enters mid-battle, I think it said, then he gets to do double the damage to them, which is absolutely absurd. I, I can imagine if this, this guy probably gets Pursuit, Pursuit trapping people because they could try to switch out, Pursuit, and if they don't switch out, then when they come, when they come with a new Pokemon, do more damage. This is just gonna be an incredible move. It's, got a good story behind it, you know, he's gonna stake out and wait. He's just an all-around really interesting Pokemon, uh, especially with the totems that were introduced. Uh, Gumshoes is a totem for one of the items, one of the bosses you can call in Young Gooses to fight for him. It just seems like a really cool idea, and I really do like the design, even if he does kind of look like Donald Trump. Number six. So I have placed the Rock Dog Pokemon Rock Ruff at number six. Uh, I mean, what's not to like about him? He's a cute little dog. He's probably one of the best looking dogs, and he's a rock type. I mean, if we look at some older dog Pokemon, there's no dog rock type, and I feel like Rock Ruff's gonna be easily accessible, kind of like, you know, like a Zigzagoon or a Poochiana, and uh, to have a rock type uh, dog that quickly in the game is gonna be a lot of fun, I think. I mean, he's just, he's so adorable looking. The name even is creative. I mean, Rock and Ruff, they're both simple words, but together they actually do sound really cool. And he also appears to be one of the professor's favorite Pokemon. So maybe like, uh, maybe the Pokemon you'll see at the beginning of the game when the professor spawns one and introduces you to the Pokemon world. That'd be really cool. I feel like Rock Ruff could really be the face of the Alola region, possibly, with the whole island uh, theme going on. Rocks are a big part of islands, in case you didn't know. He doesn't really have any cool abilities so far, but I have a feeling he's going to get one or two, uh, evolutionary stages, which is gonna make him even cooler. Not sure if he'll be competitive, but he's a great Pokemon that I would definitely want to use in-game, and I'm excited for him. Number five. At number 5, the middle spot, I have Solgaleo, the legendary Pokemon of Pokemon Sun. He's a freaking lion, and he looks amazing. Now, he he has been told, uh, with Hawaii, with the game being based off of Hawaii, Hawaii, having, Hawaii having a lot of, like, tribal themes to it, he is said to be able to eat the sun, which is absurd. That is so cool, and he can store energy inside him. Definitely the Pokemon of the sun. Surprisingly, he's a psychic and steel type, which is very strange, and he has the ability full metal body, which is basically clear body, no abilities or uh, anything can lower his stats. So great at taking Intimidates, who knows if he'll be physical or special, but he's going to be able to take those stat drops because they aren't going to do anything to him. He reminds everyone a lot of Metagross, as you can see from this picture right here, with having uh, an ability very similar to clear body and being a Psychic and Steel type. His design and his name overall are just incredible. He looks really cool, and I can't wait to catch him in Pokemon Sun. Number 4. At number four, I have placed Mimikyu, the ghost and fairy disguising Pokemon. So this has a really interesting typing and a really interesting backstory. If you read the description, which you probably can't see from this, uh blurriness. It says that basically Mimikyu is this lonely ghost Pokemon thing that the natives believe is really bad if you look under its, uh if you look under its covering, because they believe it'll get a mysterious disease, which nobody really wants to get. So it's kind of lonely, doesn't have any friends, so it dressed up as a Pikachu when Pikachu came into popularity. So it looks like a really cute Pokemon that's just trying to make some friends. It's got this new disguise ability that lets it disguise itself as a Pokemon so that it can escape damage for one turn. Really interesting concept and design, and I'm loving Mimikyu, just like the rest of the internet. Number three. So at number three, I have placed Salandit, the Salamander Fire Poison Pokemon. It's interesting having a Fire Poison type. I don't think there is a Fire Poison type. If maybe there is, I've, I don't know. Anyways, he looks really interesting because he has the ability Corrosion, which lets Poison types damage Steel types and po other Poison types. So you can Poison, you can now use Toxic on a Steel type, which is fantastic. The design going on here is really cool with the lava flowing from his tail. He's, he reminds me a lot of... Uh, Sandile, which was also a fan favorite, and everybody seems to really be taking to Salandit so far. He seems like he's going to be a really go good Pokemon, and I can imagine that he will definitely be getting a an evolution, I would think. And with his ability and with his typing, he's just going to be a really solid Mon to have, and I think he'll even be... Number two. 
At number two, I placed what is probably another fan favorite in Mudsdale, the Ground Horse Pokemon. It reminds a lot of people of Rapidash. It even kind of looks like a fire type, but it's really cool that we actually get a Ground Horse type Pokemon. Now, his uh, first form, named Mudbray, was actually released earlier today, August 1st. Uh, same abilities, own tempo, and stamina. Looks pretty cool. It's cool that he has an evolution that Mud Mudsdale is the final form. Now, the ability stamina is really interesting. Basically, every time you get by an attack, you get your defense boosted by one, which is really nice. Now, I'm thinking thinking that Mudsdale is going to have this ability because it probably is going to have really bad physical defense. It'll probably be a really speedy, really physical attacker, but I'm assuming that it's going to have really bad defense, so it, it'll hopefully be able to take one hit with stamina and then boost its defense with stamina and then grow from there, which makes it a cool sweeper, I suppose. At number one, we have Vicavolt, the bug electric Pokemon. Vicavolt has a really cool design. It has like this razor sharp jawline. It's got these little like wings that are all connected. It looks really fast and really awesome. Um, we already have confirmed all of its other two evolutions. And the cool thing about it is it's bug and electric and it gets levitate, which means that it's going to be able to fly above the ground. And another electric type with levitate is going to be fantastic. It's still going to have weaknesses like a bug type, but it's not going to be weak to anything electric wise unless, you know, it gets grounded. But it looks like a really solid Pokemon, and I can't wait to use it. I'm, I am a little scared that it'll end up like Beedrill, you know, something that's not really used commonly because you get it at the beginning of the game. I'm hoping that it will be competitive like the other Bug Electric type, Galvantula, and just overall the design and the typing and the levitate, it looks like a fantastic Pokemon, and I'm excited for Vicavolt. So did you guys agree with my list? Did you enjoy it? I hope you at least enjoyed it. Please tell me down in the comment section below what your top 10 favorite Pokemon for Sun and Moon are so far. I'm excited for Sun and Moon to get released in November so we can finally see what all these Pokemon are like. If you don't know, I am doing a blind Nuzlocke, meaning that I won't be able to look up anything about the game while I'm playing it. And I really won't have all that much knowledge uh, about the game while I'm playing it either because, again, I can't look anything up and I won't know all the different Pokemon. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So definitely stay tuned if you're excited for that. And for the rest of Top 10 Tuesday, we'll be doing things like Pokemon Uncharted, uh, Minecraft, different things so if you're interested in those games please stick around hope you guys all enjoy it and i'll see you guys all again in the next video goodbye